All right, I got rid of the uh, flicker on my camera. It was just a setting that I had uh, misset. Uh, I was erasing my memory card and uh, I hit the wrong button and hit reset the whole camera. So I had to go through and reset all my video settings. I just got to do a little doctoring on the uh, eyes of the horse. And uh, then I can move on. Got the bags under his eyes a little bit big. Better. The horse I was going by probably didn't get much sleep. <laughs> better That eye looks a whole lot better on that horse. Try to do the ear. I don't want it to look like a mule.
know it's hard for you to see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to build up the uh, shape of the ear. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and do the ears now instead of waiting because, quite honestly, they're going to be big enough that I won't be bumping into them. That's the only reason I don't do them ahead of time uh, when I do a small piece because you can forget the ears there and bang it and knock everything out of shape. But uh, these are going to take some working on to get it just perfect, I think. That's probably the best horse's ear I've ever done. Trying to decide whether to have her holding the baby or having the baby in a cradle board hanging off of the saddle. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards that. That way the mount man can interact with the baby a little bit. I don't know. Got to figure out what to do. I'm not picking an easy subject here. This is... It's going to take some thinking before I'm uh, happy with it. Uh, well, it really helps to have this armature. Um, I was a little scared because it's such a huge 
piece and uh, I'm not used to doing something this size and uh, you just have to overcome your fears by just going ahead and doing it but I'm I'm liking the way this is turning out and that armature really helps helps a lot to get everything accurate as far as measure measurements and everything else all right I'm I'm going to attack the other ear and I'll be right back. Just measuring the uh, width of the ears and that one's a little bit too wide compared to the other one working out pretty good All right, I'm going to have to call it uh, there because uh, the uh, battery is going dead on the, uh, or getting close to being dead on my camera. And uh, I'm really happy the way the ears are turning out. And I'll work on that a little more on Monday when I come back into the studio. And uh, I am really happy how this is turning out. And it's because of, like I said, it's because of the armature. It really, I was questioning it there for a while, but now that I'm adding the uh, ears to it, I can see it coming together really good. Once I get everything going on this, it's going to look dynamite. Well, that's what I hope it will look like. <laughs> anyway. All right, it's, uh, I'm going to have to get going here. My battery is going dead on my camera. And uh, the other battery isn't quite charged up. So I'm going to have to call it quits here. I'll see you all Monday. Love you all. I hope all of you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. And uh, if those of you who are with your family, bless you. God bless you. Don't be arguing at the table about anything. Just love each other. Because the years pass real fast. And one day they're not there. Always love your family. I'm thankful for all of you. And I hope to see you next week on Monday. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.